What's up everybody? Ryfx here. And today I'm going to show you how to put a transforming D-pad in just your regular D-pad Xbox controller. First thing you're going to need is of course controller. Uh, one of these transforming D-pads. You get off eBay for anywhere from three to six dollars. Um, a T8 screwdriver so you could take the controller apart and a small regular Phillips screwdriver so you could take this D-pad off and also you'll either need a Dremel tool or you could use this uh, screwdriver I'll show you how to do that a little later so let's take this controller apart. All right, now all the screws are off. Now we can actually take it apart. You want to go from the bottom of the controller. So then everything stays in place. See? Just like that. Now you gotta get this board up with the rumbles. Put it like that. And then right under this is the D pad. And this is when we're going to need this. Alright, sorry about that everyone. Ran out of memory on my camera there. So, now you want to take this piece off and get all these buttons out of here. Get all of it. And you can take this off as well. Put it aside. Oh. Yeah. Let's see. Now take the Phillips. And there's these little screws in there. Let's focus. See those little screws? Those gotta come out.
All right, now you just wanna get those out of there. Oh, one, come out. Now you, now there's these little tabs in there, and you have to push those tabs kind of inwards, and then like that, push it out, real easy, and just like that. It's out. And now, if you have a Dremel tool, you're going to want to go right here. Let's see if I can focus for you. going to want to go right here and then Dremel all this area out. You don't want to Dremel any of this area right here on the sides, or else the D pad's not going to be able to sit anywhere. So, what you're going to want to do is Dremel just this area. And if you don't have a Dremel, you'll just use this Phillips and you'll just continue turning and scraping and turning and scraping. It'll take you a pretty long time and then eventually it'll just pop out and it's not going to be perfect but uh... yeah all you have to do is get some sandpaper and then sand it out and it should be clean now the next thing you're going to need to do is um, if you match with the D-pad here, uh, you see how the top fits in, these tabs just fit in right there. Well down here it doesn't fit anywhere. So what you're going to have to do is use your Dremel and then Dremel just about all the way to uh, the surface area in here. At, or and match what's here basically is extend it so then it'll, it'll fit through and if you don't have a Dremel you're gonna have to use uh, I've seen someone on YouTube use razor blades and um, and an exacto knife or an exacto knife so yeah So then, eventually, it'll look like this. See the difference? See how far I had the Dremel? I use a Dremel in this instance. I had the Dremel, the extension here, and then Dremel here. You see how I went? Just about all the way d down, and then I went all the way down here as well, all the way down. Remember, I mentioned keep this piece. Yeah, just make sure it sits. So the D pad sits, and then right here you can see all the area I dremeled and I sand it down so it's smooth you're not going to really notice this discoloring at all because a d-pad will be uh, sitting through it like that see how that looks looks cool and then you could use the same pad as you had on before and just put everything back together the opposite way I did it before so I'll put this back together and I'll show you what it looks like alright I have it back together now here's one with the regular d-pad 
and now here's the one with the transforming d-pad here twist it for you see that regular mode and the cross mode where it's all up looks a lot better if you ask me see it's it's a helpful mod it'll help it look aesthetically better and of course the transforming d-pad performs a lot better than this one and I did one with my sister's controller it's a pink one. I put the transforming D-pad on hers. And I took these D-pads from my Gears of War controllers. And I put this one put a nice red one. Of course, it's an easier mod for these because these came uh, with these D-pads. It's just pretty much take the controller apart and then drop it in there. And that's it. I think it looks better than with the regular silver one. And here's the other one too. getting overloaded with the controllers here so there you have it everybody that's how you put a transforming d-pad on a regular d-pad controller uh, I've seen several different colors of d-pads on eBay and other websites so if you don't really need to mod anything you could just essentially take this part, take this off, and then put whatever color you want. Same with these, you could just put whatever color you want if you mod it. So that's all I've got for you guys. I wanna thank you for watching and and hopefully you found this informative and and helpful. And hopefully I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.